Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I've got an excellent bait modification for you that is so simple, but can give your bait a completely different appearance, something the fish haven't seen or heard in a while. And my personal favorite is to do this on an underspin, but you'll see you can do this on a bunch of other baits as well, just to give your bait a different look or feel. And it's something that's so easy to do, guys. I'm surprised we don't hear people talk about it. I've never heard anyone do this or talk about it. So I'm not claiming it necessarily, but this is something right out of the Matt stuff and playbook. I'm sure there's got to be other people out there doing it. But I want to give you a little bit of background before I kind of walk you into how to rig this. So several years ago, I was fishing Table Rock Lake. I was there just fun fishing. I actually stopped there on my way to Beaver Lake, where I was having an FLW event. And the fishing was really good on Table Rock, but it was really good once I made a simple adjustment. And that was to go to this little tungsten Kitek jig. Uh, I think if you watch the channel on a regular basis, you know that I like to throw this jig particular uh, with a little uh, Chunk Junior on the back. Anytime I'm fishing those highland impoundments where I'm fishing around a lot of rock, you get a lot of those channel swing banks, you get a lot of those little bluffy uh, shoreline banks where you know you get that stair step down. And anytime I'm fishing that, if I feel like the fish are starting to move up to spawn, this little jig has done me wonders. Uh, so much so that I, I believe it's like the jig that Matt Airy won uh, Beaver Lake on and it had a lot of high finishes. A lot of guys were throwing this specific jig and doing very well. And the reason behind that, this is the key to the jig. I, the video is not about the jig. The key is it's tungsten, right? And the tungsten has a completely different sound on rock than your lead does. It has a, a much more high pitched sound. You know, you can hear it. That's the tungsten versus the lead. It's just a completely different sound. It's much more high pitched. And to me, I've had really good luck on it, so I think it draws fish over. So what I was doing on Table Rock is I was fishing this jig, but what I was noticing was there were a lot of fish that were out in the middle of the guts and the drains. So I started throwing a uh, underspin, which is one of the best baits to fish through those underspin or through those through those drains for some of those suspended fish. But I was not getting bit. And what I noticed was a lot of the times when I got bit on the jig, it was, you know, when I was dragging it and hopping it down the bait. So I actually started to let this bait fall to the bottom and then just almost worked it as a jig down the center of that gut. And I started catching some fish. And that got me thinking, well, if I was catching them a lot better with the tungsten jig, wouldn't I like to have the tungsten sound to the underspin? And I was like, well, how do I go ahead and add that? So what I ended up doing was taking some tungsten nail weights uh, and inserting them into the worm to get the clack off the blade. So the couple of tungstens I like to use, and in this case, if anyone's interested, this is the Cool Baits Down Under Underspin. If you're not familiar with this bait, this underspin, it's kind of like the Cadillac of underspins. Uh, I was made aware of it, I'm going to say back in like 2015, it was a much smaller unknown bait at that point when I was fishing the U.S. Open on Lake Mead. Uh, it was the like the Westerners, that was the underspin to throw. It's slowly, I think, starting to get more fame out east, but it is by far, in my opinion, and most other people that like to fish the underspin will state that this is like, this is the OG, this is the true best underspin out there. So, if you're interested in that, I'll put a link in Tackle Warehouse. I know they've got a pile of them at this point, but let's get back to the true bait mod. So what I like to use in this case are, I've got two on, uh, nail weights that I like to use. One is just the G7 Gambit. So this is screw in, and it needs to be the screw in. The other one I like, Mustad has the, the Tungsten Titan X screw in. Hopefully you can see that. Both, both of these work great. The point here is you want to insert the nail weight to get the tungsten sound, and the screw in works great. So when you, you what we're going to do is insert this into the bait from the bottom up, and what we're going for is a clacking sound from the blade dinking off of the tungsten itself. What I have found works best is you want to put the nail weight so that it's it's 
hitting just under the widest part of the blade, so just under it. So we're talking like right down in this region. So I'm going to insert my nail weight, and it just screws in. So for those of you who can watch, hopefully I'm putting this in straight since I'm not really looking at it real good, but you're just going to screw that all the way up. And I like to insert it further up into the bait for two reasons. One is it locks it in much better, but secondly, you don't want uh, to have it sticking out so far where it really impedes the blade. What we're looking for is something that's going to stop the blade to create that erratic flashing motion and at the same time create a little bit of noise, a clinking sound that comes off of it. So I insert it so that it's just like that. Hopefully you can see it. In this case, it's the top of the nail weight is sticking out maybe a sixteenth of an inch. That's fine with me. I really don't, I have no concern about that. You could probably cut the tip off if you wanted to, or you just go with a shorter one. This is actually a 564th ounce, like the, if you use the 364th ounce size, it's, it's actually, I don't know, probably a quarter inch shorter. So you could just go with a shorter one, but I like inserting it further because it stays in better and I have no concern with it. So at that point, you can hear the blade already. You just get just that little clinking sound. And those fish are not used to that. The fish don't get to hear rattles or clinking sounds often when you're fishing a bait that suspends down a ditch. So for me, when I made this change on Table Rock, it increased my bites dramatically. It was, it was not like... There was no question about it. I was catching a lot more fish with it. And what I found was I didn't have to work it like a jig on the bottom. I just was bringing it back to the boat. And this is one of those instances that really has opened up my eyes that tungsten in some situations produces a sound that the fish prefer much, much more than other rattle sounds. It's a much more high pitched sound and you can hear it. So the goal here is you're just trying to create a little clinking. So when that bait is spinning and coming through the water, it's clicking off that weight. It's giving it an entirely different look, something nobody is doing, at least like I said, I don't know of anyone doing it. And we're talking about adding weights that are so light to the bait, it has no effect at all on the action. And plus, because the, the uh, nail weight is vertical versus elongated, it does not affect the tail action of the bait. It's really a simple bait modification that makes a world of difference in my opinion. It's something that I often do. If I'm on a good underspin bite, I'll have one rigged with and without and see if I've got one that's working better. And generally speaking, this one works better. Um, the other thing I'll note, like I said in the beginning, it does not have to be just an underspin. You can do this with a couple of different things. You know, you see swim, some swim jigs on the market have blades that are attached to it. Uh, things like the uh, Mega Bass Uozo jig. Uh, so there's a lot of different variations you can do. You can add them as well just to baits to add sound. If you want to use, you know, one of the things I talk about is when I rig a Nako rig, I like those screw in ones because uh, if I'm fishing around rock, I like to have that clinking on the bottom. So it's one of those things to pay attention to. It will make you a better fisherman. And I'm telling you, you need to try adding a screw in tungsten nail weight. Tungsten is the key here. If you use lead, it just gives you a dull thud. It's not the same, but that tungsten is just like a noise maker. Those little blades click off of it. And it's just something that gives your bait a whole different presentation. Super easy to use. Get yourself either of these screw in. These are the ones that I like uh, and it worked great for me. So give those a try. Give this whole concept a try. An underspin is a great bait to be thrown this time of year all the way into the pre-spawn period, we'll be catching a lot of fish. So hopefully you enjoyed, you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Like I said, all the links to all this I'll be putting up in the, in the uh, video description for you if you want to go out and get these parts yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. We'll have a new one coming out tomorrow.